Catherine McIntosh lived through the worst of economic times. Many a times, you know, people went hungry. It was the 1930s. The country was in the midst of the Great Depression. Catherine picked cotton at the age of four. She spent her childhood in migrant camps with her mother, stepfather, and six brothers and sisters. She'd lay them on the back of her cotton sack and pull them along, and we would walk in front of her, and I remember. We never had a lot, but she always made sure we had something. She didn't eat sometimes, but she made sure us children ate. Life was tough, and people were cruel. They'd tell you, go home and take a bath. What'd that feel like? Terrible, terrible. We'd go home and cry. My coat of many colors that my mama made for me. This song that this Dolly Parton sings, this coat of many colors, okay, mother made me a coat one time. And it, the coat was too big for me. So mother cut it down for me and fixed it for me. And I worked to school. Of course, the kids at school made fun of me but I had a coat to wear. One day when the pea crop had frozen and there was no work and people were starving, a woman showed up at the migrant camp in Napomo, California. She asked my mother if she could take her picture, that it would never be published, her name would never be mentioned, but it was to help the people in the plight. That woman turned out to be famed photographer Dorothea Lang. The picture she took that day of Florence Thompson and her three daughters titled Migrant Mother would become the iconic symbol of the Great Depression. I'm right here. This is Ruby and this is Norma. She was 32 years old there. Someone thought she posed us. She didn't. She didn't? No, no. She just set us down and us kids, we were holding on to Mama. The photograph was published the next day in a local paper. What was your mother's reaction when she saw her she photograph? Was, she didn't like it. We were ashamed of it. We didn't want no one to know who we were. The picture was forgotten until Dorothea Lang died some 30 years later. My sister-in-law was uh, looking in a camera magazine and that picture came up and she showed it to my brother and she said, told my brother, said, who does that look like? It was my mom. By that time, their lives had changed. All three girls had married. Florence Thompson's sons had bought her a mobile home. Did that photograph change your life, do you think? Oh, yes. It sure did. I wanted to make sure I never lived that life again. Florence died in 1983, and even though she'd always been embarrassed by the photograph, her children made sure she was honored with a U.S. postage stamp. We all were very grateful to her because she didn't give us away. Looking at her, there was a lot of women. It just, that was just like she was. You know, they was trying to keep their family together, but we just happened to be the ones that she photographed. Catherine has had a lifetime of labor. She'll be 77 years old on Saturday and still cleans homes for a living. She says all 10 children learned life lessons from their mother, to work hard, save, and not live beyond their means. So even if things start to get much worse, you think that you'll make out okay? Yes. You'll be all right? I believe I will, yes. I got, I've got confidence in myself, and I'll make it. Thelma Gutierrez, CNN, Modesto, California.